Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Topics with me where today we're going to be talking about privacy. Okay? Now privacy is one of the biggest things that people nowadays don't really have much of. I'm going to roll the intro. My name is Derek Amal and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family and so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly. This is topics with me. Okay, so now that we've got out of that out of the way, I actually have been hearing this a lot in the past few years or so, and it's not something recent. It's not something that I came up with uh, out of the blue. I've heard this come up multiple times as something that multiple people kind of stray from and they can't help it because they're not, they're not the ones who are making the devices. The ones that are making the devices are the ones that are monitoring. For example, let's bring up Google Assistant and Siri. We obviously know that Google Assistant does more but Siri is more recognized in the ecosystem. And I've noticed something else. When you're comparing those two, what do you think of first? Usability, yes. And the usability of them, those two are almost identical, except that Google takes data and privacy from you to kind of, it's not manipulate, but it's something close to it. Uh, they use that data to make it personally preferenced to you on that Google account, that, that Google Assistant account, or that Google account in general. Even if you can download the app on some third party like uh, Windows and Apple and uh, iOS, Android, Mac, I think you can download it anywhere, but it works best on an uh, Android device or especially a Google Pixel. They answer your calls, they do this and that. They're not gonna probably release it because it's maybe a legal issue, but they're using your privacy to determine what's better for Google Assistant and their products and their services. Apple, on the other hand, if you read the terms and services, does not actually condone uh, privacy invasion. So anything that you do on your phone is pretty much trying to be encrypted. If uh, law enforcement were to bring it into them, they would not do anything about it. There's been multiple cases of that. Uh, so Apple takes their privacy extremely seriously and that's why most people opt that are in business class for an iPhone. Now, the reason why they do that is because Steve Jobs, the original owner and creator of Apple, thought it would not be a good idea to use um, forced data inflation. And that kind of was a smart idea and it kind of wasn't. Now they use surveys and analytics and people have to submit reports and stuff like that manually. In the current position Apple is, it's not best to try to do that. You should at least do some, some data, some data analysis with people's usage and their times and everything. You shouldn't take their private, private texts and emails and stuff like that. You shouldn't record their voices like Google does to bring up search results or to invade, um, invent a product that actually people want. But it should be, there should be a different kind of system that's both legal, moral, and well, best for the consumer. And pretty much that's where I think technology is headed. It's going to go there soon and Apple's going to get their shining moment because I, uh, uh, for the moment, they lost about $500 million in stocks. And in stocks means that uh, overall money and their worth and everything like that. So that's about half of what they, they're worth. And they lost that much in about six months. And that's not good. They were a billion dollar company, they're not anymore, but they were the first ones, so I still think that they get that place. But now it's nowadays it's very hard to find a company that doesn't use privacy to their advantage and not to yours. So most people opt for Apple maybe as like a brand or maybe as, as like something else. Some people think that now still, I remember a time where Android was not fluent at all. And iOS was five, at least six years ahead. I'm not an iOS um, 
main user. I have Windows. I'd rather prefer Windows for a platform for computers. I'd rather prefer Android or iOS for a tablet market. And for phone, maybe both. But I leaned more towards iOS because I'm kind of locked in. I bought a bunch of things and I have a lot of apps that I use for editing. As a matter of fact, I edit most, almost all my videos with iOS. And if I were to move to Android, I would never get that money back. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys have topics that I could talk about and if you guys have suggestions that I could do, comments about shout outs, um, share the video, please like it, subscribe. Just do anything that you can to help me out. I will really try my best to make the future videos more interesting to listen to. I know Topics With Me is kind of boring, which is why I have these pop-ups on the side, which is why like, I'm not straight in the middle. But I'm trying my best, and I hope that you appreciate that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll maybe make a part two on privacy. I didn't really get to spit all of the stuff that I wanted to uh, talk about this episode. Thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Okay. Google's watching you. And Samsung. And Amazon.